at CES 2018. We're at the Sony booth and we're about to check out the new Sony Ivo. This is the dog that literally stole the show. It's been about 12, 13 years since the last Ibo came out. Uh, this robotic dog though, this time around, is so much smarter. And obviously there's been over a decade of advancements in technology to make him that much smarter. He can recognize people's faces. When he scans a crowd, he was scanning me, and he'll be like, hey, do I know that person? Is that my owner? He'll connect to the cloud and look through a database of his memories and be like, hey, I know her, I know him. I have good memories of that person, and maybe I should listen to that person, or maybe I should go over and greet that person. It's crazy. <laughs> He's got a two-hour battery life, and when he's starting to wind down on energy, he'll walk over to his wireless charging pad and sit down and rest. He's been designed to really, really emulate a real dog. So when you try to teach him tricks, he's not gonna, he, even though he probably can, he's not gonna listen to you the first time, or maybe not even the second time around. He listens to the people that he kind of learns to trust. Now, trust is a funny word when you're talking about artificial intelligence, but that's essentially what's happening with the Ibo. It's weird to think that you could treat a robotic dog as an actual pet, but think about it. If you're allergic to animals, if you live somewhere where you're not allowed to have a pet, or let's say you're elderly and you need companionship but you can't exactly take care of a pet, there is some therapeutic value to it. Sony Ibo has definitely jumped way into the future with this 2018 model. The Sony Ibo retails for $1,700 US dollars. It's going to be released in Japan first. Don't know when it's going to be released in the US, but we certainly hope that they bring that doggy over to us.